Next. Richie, you're having a, a good season so far. Um, how does it compare with last year, do you think, at this stage? Yeah, it's great, obviously, this year. Um, last year we were only gelling together. We were, it was, it was our fourth season together as a team and with a new manager, you know. So this year it's, it's clicked from the start and, and we're delighted with that, you know. Many people were surprised, I suppose, at the impact that Dundalk made like so, so quickly. Uh, why is that, do you think? Um, Stephen Kenny, he, he's a great manager, he is, and he's a great man manager as well, you know, he, he knows how to get the best out of all his players and I think he gelled us together really quick because I think a lot of people had us tip to get relegated that year and we surprised everyone by finishing second and we're just building a great foundation from there and hopefully kick on this year, you know. I think all the players are extremely hungry, you know, even in training, you, you would think that it was up for a cup, you know, like the, the way all the lads train and even off the pitch, the way they handle themselves in the gym and the way they the way they eat, you know, I think everybody is trying to buy into the right way of doing things, and it's great when you when you're seeing things like that happen, you know. Looking back from when you started football, you you, you played with Crumlin United, and you went over to Celtic at, at 15. What was that like? Yeah, it was great. Obviously, I got the opportunity to go to such a massive club at a young age and I had to jump at it with both hands, you know, and I loved my time over there. Um, the coaches, everything about it was great. It was um, the people I lived with and it was just a great a great introduction to football, you know, for me. Now, you moved on uh, on loan to, to Hibs. Um, you had a couple of sessions there. Of course, Pat Fenlon in your in your second spell. Um, do you think he had a problem with Pat or do you think he, uh, he didn't fancy it or what was the issue? He got his own players in when he first came and I didn't fit the build and that, that was his own opinion. Um, a lot of other people have, have high opinions of me but he didn't so that's just football at the end of the day, you know. PFAI Young Player of the Year last year, you made the Premier Division Team of the Year as well, it wasn't bad. Yeah, it was great for me first year in the league, you know, and that's what the hard work only really started after that, you know, because I knew straight away that I wanted to, to battle myself again. And, hopefully get the, the player of the year this year, you know, and that's what I've been doing. I've been walking, walking my socks off um, every single day. And to be fair, it's walking so far. We've had a great start to the year. You're out of contract in November. Uh, if you were to go in the summer, Dundalk will get a fee for you. I would say that if they let you go, they might win the league. I know, yeah, that's, that's the thing, you know, but I just need to concentrate on my football. I think people can get caught up believing that they're going to get a move and, and the hype around and it affects that performance, you know, but I need to just stay level-headed and concentrate on my own game, and I just, I just think that's what I need to do, you know. And keep your hair on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, get a nice haircut and look my best. <laughs> it's great. Thank you. Yeah, perfect.